AMD just teased their own GPU. Here we go. But before I get to that, Intel's got a faster card coming, Nvidia needs a smaller D, and AMD's finally doing it. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Now, before I get to the first story, a ton of you have been subscribing, so the subscribe to not subscribe percentage has been getting a whole lot better. But we're still at the point where over 60% of you who regularly watch the channel aren't subscribed. So make sure you're the first to get all of the latest PC hardware news by clicking that subscribe button. Okay. It's news time and first up for today, Intel's ARC Battle Mage GPUs have been fairly well received. There's obviously a ton of work still left on their drivers, but they really aren't bad for the price. The only issue is that plenty of gamers wish they had more powerful options. Well, it looks like the company could soon deliver on that. As you can see right down here, you can see a bunch of people are responding to an Intel tweet. More specifically, this is a tweet from Intel about their upcoming Computex event. Now, while it does mention Intel Arc, it's pretty clear that they're referring to their Pro GPUs. But the interesting part is the fact that a lot of people are asking about their B770 card, or well, whether the B770 exists, whether it's coming, you can see here it says, please, please, B770, I need it. I need B770. Please, Intel, give us B770. And the interesting part about all of this is that in all of these, Intel actually responded with what sounds like, yeah, it is actually coming. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Appreciate the love. Big things loading. So at least given the fact that this is set to be for Intel's Computex event, it actually sounds like there is a chance that the company could release a more powerful GPU. And of course, like I've said multiple times, you definitely want Intel to not only stick around, but to actually be better. Because more competition means better products, and more importantly, lower prices. And speaking of high GPU prices, have you seen an MSRP lately? No, seriously, have you? I'm thinking about putting it on milk cartons next. But while the real MSRP is still missing in action, you can at least wear one proudly with the mythical MSRP t-shirt. Featuring a unicorn so rare, scalpers have started bidding on the shirt. It's part beast, part GPU, and all wishful thinking. With RGB dreams in its eyes, and a price tag that says MSRP, because let's be honest, that acronym only exists in the wild on this shirt. So yeah, forget waiting for a price drop, get yours today at MeldStore.com, because MSRP may be a myth, but this shirt is very real. And don't forget to check out the FTX Flame Tracing shirt at MeldStore.com as well. And next up for today, I recently went over a report claiming that the 5090D had been taken off store shelves in China. For those who don't know, the 5090D is a China-specific GPU meant to meet certain export requirements to China by the US government. Well, it looks like that may in fact be correct, and its replacement is set to be a massive decrease in performance. As you can see right down here, according to this leaker, so starting things off, the 5090D is apparently going down, if this is correct, from 21,760 CUDA cores to just 14,080 cores. Basically, like I said, it's going to be a huge decrease in performance, but it actually doesn't stop there. It says not only that, but the memory is also supposedly going to take a hit with a reduction in both memory interface and video memory capacity. With just a 384-bit memory bus width, expect the 5090D to feature 24 gigabytes of GDDR7 VRAM, which is 8 gigabytes less than the 5090 or 5090D. It says the reduction in memory width will result in just 1,344 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. So yeah, in cores alone, we're talking over 35% fewer cores, but then there's the VRAM reduction as well. Essentially, this is a much larger difference between what was allowed with the 4090 to 4090D. Once again, if this is in fact the new requirement, my only hope is that NVIDIA doesn't try to keep the same price like they did with the past models. But then again, it is NVIDIA, so who knows? And next up, we have further proof that AMD's next-gen CPUs are finally getting a core count increase. 
This story originally comes from the well-known leaker HXL on Twitter, who shared a couple configurations regarding their upcoming APUs. Now, obviously their APU isn't their CPU, but if core count is going up there, I'd be shocked if it didn't go up even higher with their desktop line. Either way, as you can see right over here, when it comes to first Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 7 models, which are based on Medusa Point 1 platform, will feature a hybrid CPU layout four classic cores, four dense cores, and two low power cores, combined with eight RDNA 3.5 plus compute units. So obviously RDNA 3.5 plus, we don't really know too much about that. Now I will say that this more or less proves at least some of those earlier leaks, claiming that AMD likely wouldn't bring RDNA 4 to their next gen APUs. Either way, obviously the really big thing here is the fact that we're looking at three different core types. Classic, of course, being just original full on big core, then their dense core, and then a new low power core. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. I will say that I'm a little bit surprised that they're releasing a new low power core. Obviously, we don't know too much about it. Does it include hyper threading or are they going more Intel's route? I'm really not sure, but it definitely is interesting, but it actually gets even more interesting because obviously here we're only talking 10 cores, but it gets even better when we move to Ryzen 9. Because according to this, you can see that it actually adds an extra core complex die or CCD. And they said presumably from the desktop line, which includes 12 additional cores. You can see it right here in the original tweet. It says 12C CCD plus the four classic cores, four dense cores, and then two low power cores, meaning a total of 22. And like I said, that heavily points to the leaks we've seen claiming that AMD's next-gen desktop would have more than 16 cores. We'll obviously have to wait and see just how many, but I'd bet at least 22. And lastly for today, AMD just tweeted this out, and it pretty much confirms the leaks that we've been seeing regarding them releasing their 96 CXT. Well, in this case, it's almost certainly just an announcement, but it's pretty much definitely confirmed at this point. Now, it doesn't actually state it within here. You can see it says, join AMD on May 21st as we reveal what's next in gaming, AI, PCs, and more. Now, like I said, they don't actually state definitively anything about it, but the key is in this image right here. It may actually look familiar, and that's because it's what they used for the thumbnail when they announced RDNA 4, but one pretty big key difference. You can see right here that in the original one, the GPU that they showed had three fans as well as two 8-pin connectors, while the new one that they're showing off actually only has two fans and one 8-pin connector. So obviously this is proof that they are releasing a new GPU and obviously it's not going to be as fast as their 9070 or 9070 XT, which of course, almost certainly means we're likely looking at the 9060 XT. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for AMD's next GPU? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And as always, have a great day.